Check it out, people. Zest for Life, aka Fresh Mark Scents. Now, I've had quite a few scents over the years, and I don't do many office scents, and that is why I'm slicked up today. I'm doing an office special, something that is woody with the note of patchouli. I often avoid the note of patchouli, but this is done in a very fresh way, a very office appropriate way, a very clean way. And I think, uh, well, let's just introduce this as a rebound of a Harrods fragrance that completely flopped. It's the next generation. They've learned all their mistakes from Montel. This is Montel. Um, Oh, sorry, uh, Montclair Sunrise. I keep on saying Montel and uh, Mont Blanc and all this, but it's Montclair Sunrise Pour Home Eau de Parfume. So, the original of this perfume now it's probably easier to recognize like this is there is a bottle in Harrods which was silver. Now, this is black, and I thought when I saw this in Harrods. I thought, wow, this is going to be another complete flop because the first one smelled like pine wood. It was very macho, very leathery, pine wood leather, and it's supposed to be oud, but it's just pine wood and leather. It smelled like you're in a sweaty forest, but it had a very uh, garish LED display, which for some reason, I, I don't know why you'd want that. Um, but yeah, so it had an LED display and all this. So I don't know what they were thinking. But this is a complete reimagination of this. It has a fantastic bergamot note, supported by pink pepper and uh, supported by pink pepper and lemon. Uh, middle notes are sage, sage suede, and I think it's a kind of geranium or something. Uh, and then in the base is leather vetiver and uh, patchouli, yes. So let's give this a spray because it's quite bright in the top note and I want to get straight into it. The first thing I noticed was the bergamot. The bergamot and pink pepper give a very classy and well-rounded, limey and zesty bergamot fresh opening. It's fruity, it's uh, so, it's limey, zesty, and fruity to that limit, to that end, which means that it opens up in a bright way, completely different from the original, which was a more woody-based perfume. But what I really like about this perfume is the fact that they have uplifted that bright, fruity nature and sustained it with the sage. It's not just a mineral fresh sage, it's a fruity, fresh, mineral fresh. <laughs> I said fresh a lot. Um, it's, it has the mineral freshness, it has the fruity freshness, and then the woods come in. And I'm describing it as almost like a tropical perfume, but the bergamot used in here, I wanted to mention, reminds me of Merchant of Venice. Merchant of Venice, Venetian bergamot, uh, Venetian blue. And that has a fantastic bergamot on leather note and leather note. It has a pineapple note too, which is there, which is, is kind of cool, but it's, um, I, I really like the way it mixed the birch, the woody and the, the fruity aspects. It was playful, it was fresh. And that's what you get in here. You get that uh, fruity, fresh bergamot with the pink pepper and, and the sage uplifts it. But when we get into the, uh, the, the suede and the patchouli towards the end of the fragrance, the, the, the tr transformation of this fragrance from a fruity fresh and mineral fresh to a woody and suede perfume. I, I think the suede, it's not, it starts off as a strong leather, but it's a very nice backing note. It's very well blended with the patchouli. 
This stops the perfume from being a wet or damp wood or dank perfume, let's say, which would be overly woody. It would sort of bring you down. It's, it reminds you of um, um, dewy wood. And that is not what we're going for over here. That's the kind of thing that I avoid with patchouli and wood scents. And this is uplifted. It has that woody note of patchouli, the dry patchouli, but it's not dampened by too much oak moss or uh, green mossy notes. Or say like a, um, a dark green oudy note or woody note. That's not there. I get a dry, fresh patchouli surrounded by mineral freshness, fruitiness of the bergamot. It really uh, surrounds the bergamot in a, in a brightness, that mineral freshness from the uh, sage. Yes, uh, the suede is a very nice backing note. It's, it's definitely a brown leather suede. It's not a black leather, it's not a wax leather. Then again, it would be nice with a jacket. And you wouldn't have to be wearing leather to make this feel appropriate. So, top marks for this. The opening, bright, fresh, fruity, completely different from the original. I can imagine this lasting on my skin. I haven't tried it for long enough. Let me just spray. I like to always double check my opening. If I smelt it right. Sometimes you smell new things the second time. Yes, on the second application, I get it, the lemon with the bergamot and pink pepper. And the sage comes to the forefront a bit earlier. This time, once you know it's there and you smell it on the dry down. So sage and that limey bergamot with the pink pepper making it sort of acidic and more, more citric with that lemon it does give the sweetness of a juicy pineapple and I think that's where the fruitiness is coming from the playfulness with the uh, pink pepper and the lemon the creamy lemon so it's a creamy lemon not really creamy lemon with a lemon zest uh, it's not a very sour lemon or citric lemon but it is bolstered by that pink pepper to make it feel or smell like pineapple and bergamot with the suede note and that's what gives it the Venetian blue uh, merchant of Venice vibe. <coughs> Sorry. The pink pepper it does come off it does have a slight black pepper effect it can make you cough if you spray a bit much it comes off quite punchy in the beginning I enjoy it. I find I find uh, this is an enjoyable workplace scent because it's refreshing, fruity, uh, lively in that sense. Yet it has a strong woody base and is characterized as a masculine perfume because of that. And the other notes support the woody nature and uplift the woody nature of the perfume. And the top note is still resounding throughout, which is quite rare. Usually the top note doesn't resound, resound uh, until the final notes. It usually transfers into, transforms into something else, the perfume. But with this, it's quite welcome because it adds a fruity freshness and an uplifting element to it throughout. And I think that's where the sunrise comes from it. Uh, the sun, sunrise, it's sunrise, yeah. Um, Montclair Sunrise Pour Home. Yeah, I think that's where the sun, that's where the sunrise aspect comes into it because it's different shades of the light of the fruity nature of the bergamot, which you don't usually see. So definitely check this out in Harrods or Selfridges or um, I don't know what other places have this actually. Um, well, I remember seeing this in Harrods and I think they sell it at Selfridges too. But it's very nice actually as a as a work perfume. I can definitely see this being worn in with a grey suit, but it's not steely or cold. 
but it's very calculated, clean, but it has that bright energy in the beginning. So it's not a stiff perfume, but it's appropriate to work. And I don't think you'll get anyone who says this is offensive. This is a very mass appealing scent because it's, uh, you can't go wrong. It's just the fresh and fruity nature of bergamot. It's not a fruit salad on top of a wood base. Uh, like I'd say Sicily from by Mansero, that's definitely like a fruit salad with the jasmine and everything, uh, with jasmine. But uh, this holds it down as a masculine perfume whilst having a resounding freshness about it. So that's fantastic. And it has made me a believer in the patchouli woody scents. Definitely check this out, Harrods, and whatever you do, people, stay free and stay fresh. Oh. Check it out. Leave me a comment in the section and let me know what you think about this perfume.